Hello, thank you for joining me. This video is the second in a three-part series talking about shuttle tatting using buttons. In part one, I talked about using rings and chains, joining to the four rings of a button to make a motif like this, practicing joining the rings. In this video, I want to talk about a very simple pattern using chains only, where you are simply chaining around the button and joining twice in the corners, chain to the next corner, and then twice in the next corner. So it's very easy because you're not making rings, but it's a test of practice to get your chains consistent and your joints. So I thought I'd show you how to do that. You really don't need a lot of thread for this particular pattern because it's only chains. If you have a little bit of thread, about half full, this is size 10. You can just unwind about a little more than a yard. If you unwind and pull it out so that your arm is ex fully extended from fingers to chin plus some, that's a little more than a yard, that should be sufficient to work your chains. And then you only need a little bit on your, on your shuttle to do this. So you're going to join with your button right side up. And to start with, you're going to put your thread around your hand like you are starting a chain and you put your pinch here and you put your button in that pinch. Take your crochet hook, any size will do as long as you can get it through the hole and pull up your thread through the hole. And as I mentioned in the first video, just make sure when you are pulling the thread through the, the hole, make sure you're getting all of the strands of the thread that you're using, make sure that it's not split. Okay, so you've pulled the thread up through the first hole, any hole in the button, and pinch that, bring the loop large enough you can get your shuttle through there. Put your shuttle through there, and then start to adjust the tension on your left hand. I'm right-handed, so this is right-handed tatting. Just the tension on your left hand to start pulling this thread back towards your button. And I tend to use my the point of my shuttle just to keep that from twisting. Just get that sitting right there at the edge of the button. And you're pinching this. Make the second half of your stitch. Put that through. Make your flip, pull that close, as close as you can, <clears throat> excuse me, to the edge of your button, just like you're making a chain. So that's the beginning of your chain. So that does, and I do not count that as stitch one. <clears throat> excuse me. So the beginning of this pattern, you're going to make, you've made your first join. You're going to make eight stitches. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull that close. Now you're going to join to the same hole of the button. And this just takes a little practice. Finagle that in there. Yes, finagle is a technical term. So you put your crochet hook in there. Pull up, making sure you're not splitting the thread. And don't pull it all the way back like this. Just pull it enough so that the end of your chain is sitting at the edge of the button. Pull up your loop so it's big enough you can put your 
shuttle through there. Pinch. Put your shuttle through your loop. And pulling on the shuttle thread, you bring that as close as possible to the side of the button. Hold your pinch. Make the second half of the stitch to lock that. And there's your second join. You can just put those two straight. Okay? And you don't have to take this off your hand because you're just going to continue on with the next chain. And the next chain is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Going to make your next join. Pull that up. Just keeping the edge of the ring so that you can see it next to the edge of the button. Don't pull it behind. Pull up your thread. You're pulling up the shuttle thread. Put your shuttle through the loop. Reduce. Pulling on the shuttle. Reduce your loop. Make the second half of your stitch. And there's your third join. Just straighten those two legs there. That's what the back looks like. And then you repeat the corner. So the next corner is eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your second join in that corner. Making sure you don't split the thread. Pull that up. Through the loop. Pulling on the shuttle, reduce your loop. Second half of the stitch. There's your next corner. Do the next seven for the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's all there is to it. You just finish the last two corners the same way. You do join here, eight, join, seven, join, eight, join, seven. Then when you get to the end, after you've done the last chain of seven, you just cut off your ends and you're going to take the one end, put it through that chain, and tie your knot at the base there. And that will give you the completed. The completed motif, that's the right side, that's the wrong side for me. This might be the right side for some. This is size 10 thread with a 5 8 inch button, 15 millimeters. This is size 20 thread with a half inch button. 12 millimeters. Just a simple little motif that helps you practice your chains and joins to a button and getting the joins even 
It does take some practice, but with practice, you can do it. I was not always this proficient with it. In the third video, I will show you some ideas on how to use these. So I hope I've given you some inspiration to keep practicing. Have fun. Thank you for watching.